How you going? Going Greyhound. How you going? Going Greyhound. Anywhere you're going, it's... How you going? Going Greyhound. When you're heading for the outback, traveling light with just a backpack, when the men behind the wheel with a smile can make you feel that this must be the only way to go. Thousands of young people run away from home every year. Are you one of them? I ran away once, so I think I know how you feel. My message has always been to kids um, when I go and talk to them in, you know, detention centres or just on the street or, you know, in schools or whatever, is if you don't give up on your family because they're not going to give up on you, which is true. It's sort of scary at the same time. Yeah. Like, you don't know where you are. You, you don't, like, I'm pretty young, I don't have much money. Some young people aren't even eligible for benefits, so if they're running away from home, they've got no access to any income whatsoever. I mean, we see people under the age of 12 um, on the streets, which is fairly horrifying. There's a, a bunch of unscrupulous people out there these days that, that look on, that look for and prey on the young runaway. By getting them back into the family unit, uh, in most cases they can communicate, the lines of communication can be you know, opened up again and they can resolve their issues. Whilst our, our uh, offer is the same, the way kids talk amongst themselves has changed with technology, so we need to get a little bit more modern and use uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube to get our message across and make sure we stay relevant to the people who really need our service. But they actually care enough to provide a service to get people home if they want to go home. See, that in that, what that reintroduces into a young person's life is, well, someone cares. And at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's about caring.